Oh, there's Captain Awesome. Please don't call him that. Okay, I've identified some candidates for Chuck, and they're awesome. And Devin, you're great. Yeah. Hey, Chuck. Ellie, Captain, don't freak out. Remain calm. I have some news. Chuck's got a date! What? Who? Way to go, Chuck. That's awesome. My sister, my friend, lady, thank you. All right. Do you know who Maria was? I just got the organ. You could have let me know that you were on the organ. Shut up! Tell them nothing to keep them safe. Early morning procedure, so group hug, huh? Mmm, okay. Awesome. Look, no matter how stressed out you are, it is never okay to murder a woman's souffle. Um, you know what? Let me talk to him. Casey, uh. hey, baby, uh. Can you tell me exactly what Casey said? I think everything is okay. Makeup sucks. Nice. What he needs is something to challenge him. Test his limitations. A brush with his own mortality. You know what I'm thinking? I have no idea what you're thinking. As far as I'm concerned, dude, you're, you're way off the reservation. Class 5 Whitewater Rapids. Just the two of us this weekend. Near-death experience. Awesome. That sounds great, but my wetsuits are the dry cleaners. That is a terrible idea. That's way too dangerous. I agree, and I am not comfortable with you guys spending that amount of time together. Well, Chuck hasn't said a word. What do you want to do? I'm just going to hit the sack. Good night, Team Bartowski. <sighs> that's, that's great work, guys. You see what you're doing here? It's awesome. He says, he says, um, do you know how to tango? No, why? Oh, uh, no reason. I just, I have a date tonight. I thought it might come up. You're tangoing on a date? Oh, that's definitely new territory. Good to see you're reaching outside of your comfort zone. Well, considering my comfort zone extends to the end of that couch, new territory was bound to come up. Did someone say tango? No, thank you, Captain Awesome. I'll look it up online. Would you please put on something, a robe or something? Did this mess her brother in Buenos Aires. Spent many a night tangoing my way into Senorita's pantalones. Tango? Oh yeah, yeah, we tangoed. In fact, we tangoed quite a bit, but uh, Awesome taught me the woman's part of the tango, so it was a little difficult, as one might expect. What's up, bro? Let's do the famous dip. Yeah, I was on the receiving end of that dip. You did tango with a woman, right? And on that note... No, 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 you're not getting off that easy. Hey, um, is Sarah here? She's waiting in your room. Everything okay? Said she had a surprise for you. Get in there, slugger. Am I the kind of person you would categorize as immature? Do you really want me to answer that? Yes. Be straight with me. Fire away both barrels. Would you mind stepping in the kitchen for a moment, Morgan? I'll handle this one, honey. Ellie's room. <sighs> wow. There comes a time in every man's life, when he reaches, well, a crossroads. A time when he must ask himself, am I a tucker? Talking about your shirt, Morgan. I wasn't always a tucker, you know? Then one day, it just happened. How do you, how do you know it's time? You just feel it. 
Go ahead. Tuck her in. See how she feels. No, I don't know. No, I, I'm, I'm just kind of happy with how my shirts hang there. Come on. You're safe in here. Um, Tuck her in. I don't know if I'm right. Do it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like my, my, my junk's out there for the whole world to see. Maybe that's the point, Morgan. Maybe that's the point. There's one thing to being a man. It's always speaking your mind. Whatever the cost, always be direct, open, and honest. When I was 12, I hid under Ellie's bed so I could watch her undress. Excellent. What are you looking at? Your hair. It's time to tame the mane, buddy. Let's talk product. I gotta finish the job. I'm sorry. Hey, who's that handsome guy in the mirror? <laughs> you! Chuckster. Guess what I am. You're naked? I'm Adam. You know, like Adam and Eve, Adam. Wait till you see my snake. I don't want to. I don't want to see your snake. <laughs> Devin, Chuck here has an interview on Wednesday. That is outstanding. <laughs> okay. I gotta. Excuse me. Hello. We're going to go deep. <laughs> Who invented the uh, UCLA brain trust? Those are Devin's fraternity brothers. We are actually all caravanning up to Stanford for the UCLA game this weekend. Hey, Chuck, go deep, bro. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Right in the pill. Please, 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 don't, please don't touch me. Chuck, come on, man. Let me make it up to you, bro. Get up. Oh. I got you a ticket for the game. Wow. Thanks. But uh, Sarah and I already have plans. You're alma mater, dude. Look, no offense, but I'd rather get hit in the produce section again than go back to that place. <laughs> Suit yourself. Let's go. Game on, boys. Where's the ball? <laughs> Woo! Go <laughs> Bruins! Oh, 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 it's hard to hate Stanford because they suck so hard. I wish we were playing SC today, huh? I can't believe that game was such a wash. What a blowout. Worst game ever. It's not coming off. I think he used the wrong kind of paint. Well, what brand was it? Brand? I don't know. One of the guys picked it up. Some stronger soap. Oh, and also, and also a, a crab hand roll for the lady, light wasabi, but like light, light, almost as if you just wash your hands and only the residue of previous orders remains. Didn't realize how old fashioned you were, Chuck. Oh, why? Because I was ordering food for my girl? Well, I guess I just know what she likes. You sure do. Thanks, sweetie. Welcome, sweetie. No, 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 old fashioned, how slow you guys are taking things. Devin, what? <laughs> well, I mean, you guys are joined at the hip, but that's not where you're supposed to be joined. I mean, it's like uh, the east wing of our apartment took a vow of celibacy. <laughs> Uh, it's none of our business. Um, edamame? Oh, your oh. sleeve. Shoot. Are you ever gonna retire that sweater, Ellie? Hope not. It's my lucky sweater. More like my lucky sweater. I was wearing it the first time I met Ellie in an epidemiology class. He told me that L.L. Bean must have stolen the color from my eyes, so it really belonged to me. Mm -hmm. Be next to you. I'm here to tell you. That it is good, that it is true Birds sing in a song Old paint is peeling This is that fresh, that f Hey! Hey, do you think, uh, do you think Ellie's okay? Should I call the hospital again? You've called ten times in the past twenty minutes. Yeah, but I know, but what, what about, what about sweaty nuclear guy? What, what if he hurts her? Come on, Chuck, people saw Ellie at the ER. She is gonna be fine. Hey! You spending the night? My little pep talk must have inspired you guys. Mazel tov. Yeah, uh, actually, Sarah's just hanging out until Ellie gets home. So. Why? She's a doctor, Chuck. Emergencies happen. You know when somebody asks, is there a doctor in the house? It's our cue. I'm gonna make some coffee. Do you want some? Absolutely. Listen, I know it's been a while since you've taken your uh, your bike out for a ride, you know? But it is time to oil up that rusty chain 
Hop on that seat and start pedaling away, bro. You never forget how to ride, okay? Lock it out. Come on. Nice. You think Chuck's gonna seal the deal with Sarah tonight? Klaus, you're talking about my brother. He's got your jeans, babe. And I ought to know the Bartowskis are very passionate people. Remember the last time we spent the night at your parents' house? I found them bouncing around in the jacuzzi. Whoa, brain stamp. She doesn't feel so great when it's on the other foot now, does it? Uh, yeah. And you know what? You know what? What's up? What's up with the porno shorts? Huh? I mean, clearly, Mrs. Hadizian likes to enjoy all the hills and valleys, but really, really, they leave like nothing to the imagination. Okay, babe, your uh, your mood tonight is super honest. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Uh, and then there's that. Awesome! Everything is so freaking awesome. Let me tell you something. If everything is awesome and there is no unawesome, then awesome by definition is just mediocre. And you know what? When is the last time you guys? No shop talk tonight. We got a bird to eat. Hey, John, can you help me stuff this monster? So, Thanksgiving. We're all supposed to say what we're thankful for. I'll start. I am thankful that I am here with the most beautiful woman in the world, Ellie Bartowski. Good call. Morgan. Uh, uh, right. That's sweet, honey. I am thankful for my family and my friends. Uh, pass. Chuck. I'm thankful that Bryce Larkin is dead and is not currently in my bedroom making out with my new girlfriend. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. I... Wow, buddy, that was um really dark. And specific. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh good. Good? Oh good. Oh my god. Fine, Ellie. You can have him. What's the matter, babe? Seriously, wait. Honey, wait one second. Honey, no more family dinners, okay? What do you think about a destination Christmas? I got my headgear on. Wake up! Wake up! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. What are you doing in here? What are you, what are you talking about? You, you begged me not to leave. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's, um, oh, there's aspirin on your side of the, that side of the bed. If you could get me six, please. Yeah. Anything you, uh, anything you need. Oh. Here. Thank you. You're welcome. For last night. You know nothing happened. Mostly thanks for that. Look, Ellie, I would pretty much do anything for you. You're kind of like a sister to me. The sister want to have sex with the soap Oh, God, Morgan. All right, here, here you go. Michael, in or out? Hey, thanks for letting me uh, join your game, boys. Perfect distraction. Captain here had a fight with his lady friend. Oh, the doghouse. Been there many a time, my friend. No, you haven't. Guys, Ellie and I are just going through a little rough patch. Both trying to figure it out. Let me share one thing that I know from personal experience. No, you don't. You do not need some broad holding your maracas in a vice. Yeah. Man cake like you, you should install a turnstile on your bedroom door. Yeah. Uh. Oh, so, in or out, buddy. <sighs> All right, uh, uh, I have absolutely not a hair uh, grease. I'm a straight, I don't know why. Trip nines, gentlemen. Oh, wow. <laughs> Big man. Daddy, take you home. Fine, all right. Finishes all right. Us all. Uh, uh, rule is rule. Let's say okay. uh, you know? This is what's great about boys' night. Hey, man cake, what do you think? Want to do this again tomorrow, single guy? I got a surgery. I got to do. We want to take it back. Come on, buddy. We got to get that guy's pants off. Morgan. Whoa. 
Hey, big guy. What's up, man? Nothing, nothing happening over here. Just kind of do not the face. Honey, come here. I want to show you something. Happy anniversary, baby. Devin, I'm sorry I got so mad at you. No, you were right. I was being selfish. And I got a glimpse of what my life would be like without you. Not a pretty picture. <laughs> uh, dude, I feel like I owe you an explanation, and I want you to know that uh, nothing happened between me and your lady last night, I swear. I know, man. What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean you know, man? You don't think there exists a scenario where Ellie, devastated over her loss of you, comes into my arms for the console loving prize? Think about it. No. Hey, Chuck. No, you look. Uh, no. Uh, can I talk to you for a sec? Awesome to see you, Devin. Yeah. Yeah, All what's right. up? So what's on your mind? Chuck, I was, I was hoping to talk to you about Ellie. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, you know, ever since, um, Ever since we've been dating, I've come to think of you as that little brother I never had. <laughs> Don't you have two younger brothers? Indeed, indeed. But you seem like someone who can offer sage wisdom in confusing times, and it's one of those times I am really confused, bro. Oh, no. I don't know how to put this into words, really. That's a bug. What? What? Spider, I hate those fuzzy little bastards. Uh, no, I think, uh, no, you got him. He was like, uh, and then, boof, gone. Can you excuse me for just one second? I think I just saw a kid crawling into an oven over in Home Appliances. Chuck. Chuck, I need you to drop some knowledge, bro. Hey, hey, sorry about that. False alarm, it turned out anyway. The kid did not end up defrosting himself, as, as it turns out. So, uh, what, uh, what's going on? This is one of those rare moments when things are not kosher, Chuck. Oh, man. This is harder than I thought. Uh-huh. Go, go on, I'm listening. Right, well, I've been thinking a lot about the way things are between me and your sister. And you're the man in, in Ellie's family. So I was wondering, can I have your permission? Can I marry Ellie? Wow, that, that's quite, quite a rock you got there. Is that a yes, dude? Yes, yes, sorry. I did, did you kind of, what? You know, you pulled the blank just right in. Yes, you have my blessing. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's been in my family for years. It was my great grandmother's. <laughs> oh, I think she'll like it. Like it? She'll, she'll love it. I'm just not sure she'll be able to lift her hand anymore. Oh, one other thing. Ellie is a bloodhound when it comes to these kind of things. If I keep this in the apartment, she will smell diamond. Can you hold on to this just for a day or so, man? I mean, just till I figure out how to pop the question. I, I don't think oh, that's actually a good idea. You want to feel Oh, thank you so much, bro. Hey, pretty soon I'm gonna mean that literally. There you go. All right. <laughs> Chuck, I need the ring. This is not awesome. Oh, oh God. The ring. They took Ellie's ring. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Chuckles, what's up? Listen, dude, I figured out how I'm gonna pop the cue. The Q? What, what Q? What's a Q? You know, the Q, the big Q you only ask once in a lifetime. Oh, can't say right now, Mom. Is that your mom? Tell her that I love that kittens playing with the yarn sweater that she knitted me. You got it, babe. <laughs> I'm gonna do it while we're skydiving. R really? Do you think, uh, do you think it's a good idea? Not the first time we've been in the Mile High Club, buddy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, uh... Listen, skydiving, skydiving is a little... It's a little risky. Don't you think? I mean, you could drop the ring. Whoa, I called, dude. Hate to lose my great granny's ring. She gave it to me right before she passed. You know, she knew Ellie was the one before I did. Great, great. Okay, so just, you know, let me know when you figure something else out. Okay. But Devin, um... 
take your time. You got it, brother. 